All right. So this is Mitch, and he has had a haircut, and it looks perfectly fine to send home um, for you know for most salons and for most clients. Um, but if you're looking to kind of up your game and really have like the next step and the next level of grooming. I wanted to show the difference between um, like a standard pet trim that people are usually totally fine with. Like this dog looks totally fine, I could send him home and his owners would be happy. Um, but because they are so used to our standards here um, and the quality that we produce, I want to show you a few couple of tips, um, a few tips that are going to really make your groom stand out from other grooms. And a lot of this is um, things that you don't you don't know you don't know until you see it. So uh, one of the main things we're gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna take this hair out under in the uh, flu area in this little lip. So what that does is it actually makes this hair stand out quite a bit more and it makes his you know his face look a little bit more droopy. So we're gonna take that out first. And you can do this with like your little five-in-one clippers if you want to be a little bit safer. Um, I didn't bring those up here, so I'm just going to use my thinners just to kind of thin that out. And honestly, you want that out of there anyway because all it does is gain saliva, water, food. Um, it traps it in there and gets bacteria. It can actually get infected um, or develop yeast. Um, Thing, fungal, bacterial, whatever in there. Um, so that is actually going to help you see the difference in this face when you go to scissor it a little bit more. So I'm going to do that. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all of this hair forward from the top of his head, the sides of his face, and we're going to pull all of this to the front. Now this looks really good right in front of the eyes here, um, but for that next level, I'm actually going to come in here and I'm going to blend this down, the corners of the eyes into the cheeks there. What that does is it really opens up the expression and at the same time, it makes the haircut last quite a bit longer because, you know, this is the first stuff that grows in and it just, as soon as they go home and shake their head or grow out for a week, that's what goes in front of their eyes. Um, that's what makes owners start chopping away at the dog's face and then they come in next time and you're like, what happened? So, really clearing out the corners of the eyes and blending that into the cheeks is going to really help open that up. And then we're going to come in here. Okay. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. This looks really nice. So, uh, one thing that I would do if it wasn't done already, I would come back here and I would take this line behind the back of the ear and blend it into that ear tip. And then I fold the ear in half. And then I take this and blend it to the ear tip as well. Like I said, this looks really good, so. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna blend that into the tip of the ear, fold it in half, just make sure that everything's kind of well blended into there, just like that. Now we're gonna come in here, and I'm actually going to comb all of this forward in front of his nose. And this looks pretty good too, but just to kind of give it that really nice finished touch, I'm going to come and make sure everything, all the hair is flat in front of the nose. And then I'm going to come here and I'm going to follow this lip line. I know. Can you do that? Okay, so to neaten this up a little bit, we're going to follow, I'm taking this hair up to the lip line and I'm following it around to the spot where I am shaping this into the ear tip here. And 
And this is one of the things that when you do take this hair out, it opens up that lip line so that you can get a really nice finished look and shape around this area and then to this part behind the ear. Okay, so now you can kind of see the difference in this side versus the other side. It's just a little bit tighter, a little bit more refined. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. Sorry, man. We're going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to take this and I'm following this lip line and I'm blending it into the line that we created behind this ear here. We're just going to kind of neaten this bottom jaw line up a little bit more. There. And really to kind of blend this in and give it a nice edge, you can even kind of fluff this up just to refine the lines here even more. Because as soon as they get down, they're going to shake and you'll see more imperfections. But if you comb up at the very end and really just go over it that one last time. And I will spend more time on a face than I will hand scissoring and nitpicking legs because the owners mostly care about how cute the face is and how good they smell. So if you can spend a little more time on uh, making sure that your bath and prep is good and spend a little extra time on your face to make sure that it is a really nice finished product. That is usually what makes customers a little bit more happy. And it sets your grooms apart from, you know, the other groomers in your area.